Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kylin and this is Jojo, <laughs> my Pomsky. He wanted to join me for today's video, so let him be. <laughs> Stay. Um, I just came back from Japan and I bought so many things and so I wanted to share with you guys what I bought. He wants to play. Um, can you stay still for this video? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, okay, good boy. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with my Japanese haul. So one of the... Okay, okay. So one of the largest drugstore slash cosmetic store we went to is one called Don Quixote. That one even had a Ferris wheel like above the drugstore, like within the same building. And from there, I bought this USB charging um, heating lash curler because I have really, really stubborn Asian eyelashes just that just goes straight down. So I'm really excited to try this one. The second thing I bought are these eyeliners from DUP. And I tried the black one on today. And it's really good. It's really, really thin and the color is very opaque. So I bought one in black and one in natural brown. The next one I bought is this XL brow pencil. I've bought this in Taiwan before and I really like it. So as you can see from the diagram, this one comes in three tips. One is the pencil one and then in the middle there's a sponge tip. And at the end, there's a brush tip. And I got this in the PD05 grayish brown. Next, we have this sparkly liquid eyeliner from Jolene. And it's what I have on my eyes right now. See, it's so, it's so sparkly. It contains a lot of big glitters inside. It's so pretty. And so yeah, I thought it would be really fun to play with in my makeup tutorials. I also bought this lip liner from the same brand, Jolene, and it's what I'm wearing right now. So this is like a nude lip liner. Very, very suitable if you want this kind of natural plant lip look. And then I overlaid it with this Roman Blasting Color Gloss. This is a Korean brand, but they also sell it in Japan. And this is currently my favorite lip product because of how hydrating, moisturizing, and glossy it looks. And, and these two just work so well together. This is the combination I have on my lips right now. Next, I bought a lot of different mascaras from Cosme. So the first one is this Metaru Komu Mascara from Can Make. It's literally what it sounds like, metal comb mascara. This picture, the formula of these mascaras are very light so it just makes your lashes stay lifted for the entire day. And another mascara I bought is the Eye Edition Mascara in Matte Black. This one comes in a very tiny brush like this. And I also tried this one just then and it just gives your lashes a very very fluffy natural look. So if you want mascara that makes your lashes look like it's naturally lengthened and darkened then this one is your pick because it doesn't even look like you have mascara on but it makes your lashes like so full. So the final mascara I bought from Make is the W Kormu. W Kormu Mascara. It's designed as a thin comb like this. I haven't tried this one, but I feel like this one would be pretty interesting as well. Next one here, we've got the DUP Lash Glue. And I've used this product for many, many, many years. And it's still my favorite lash glue to use because of the formula. It dries pretty fast and the brush tip is also very thin. Jota, he really wants to play. Can you wait, please? Maybe another 20 minutes. Thank you. 
Next, we have these pimple patches. This, I'm pretty sure, is a Korean brand because I bought these in W Cosmetics in Australia before. But these are my favorite pimple patches, and I thought while I'm there, I might as well stock up because it's probably still cheaper there in Japan than Australia. One of my favorite things to buy in Japan are face masks. So I saw these face masks that I've never tried before, but they they have really cute graphics of. People. And this one is for enlarged pores. It said it has ingredients that helps with softening of the skin um, and hydration. And it also contains Sika, which is an ingredient that helps with acne and pimples. So yeah, I think I really, really need this one because I have like combination to oily skin, which is really prone to acne. This one is also from the same brand, but I think this one's mainly for hydration. Next one I got is this vitamin C enriched um, face mask. This one is so popular. It's been recommended by every post I saw on Redbook. If you know, Redbook is a Chinese social media where a lot of people post recommendations on products. And this one was highly, highly recommended by the Chinese netizen. But while I was picking these ones out, the, the staff at the, um, at the cosmetic drugstore recommended me this sheet mask. She said this one has a lot higher vitamin C concentration inside and it's also similar prices so yeah I ended up getting um, a few packets of these sheet masks as well. So up next we have the steaming heating eye mask. So I got a whole big pack with like different scents and it's like at a discounted price as well. I keep getting distracted by Jojo. <laughs> okay, um, next at the drugstore, I got this medication for period pain. This one was highly recommended by, by my friend in Australia. Yeah, very keen to try this and see if it works because if that works, I think it will be pretty life changing. So I went to Japan in August, which is late summer and because it was so hot i investigated a few items that would really really help with the heat there the first one was this uv popping gel this is probably one of my favorite purchases in japan this time let me just show you guys how this works it's so cool i did my research before i got this and i just went straight to the staff and then asked her if there is like a spray that um, sprays out ice cooling UV sunscreens and she showed me this one and yeah I'm pretty sure this was what I was looking for and she showed me two versions of this UV sunscreen one is the spray and one is the gel to be honest I think I personally prefer the gel because of just I think it feels a little bit less sticky on my skin and it just looks so cool let me show you so, can you see, like, it just looks like bubbles. And when you apply it on your skin, it feels like popping candy, SPF 50. So very, very high UV um, protection. And once you put it on your skin, it doesn't feel sticky at all. It's just very, very fresh and absorbs into your skin very well. So yeah, I highly recommend this one. This one also has the same effect. So this is the Cool UV Spray. So it comes with a tip like this and you just press it down. And you hear like a spray like that. And then you see the sunscreen coming out. This one is also pretty lightweight, but I find that it feels slightly more oily, which I don't really prefer. But it's definitely a really good size if you just want to pop it into your handbag. The next thing I got is this Hinyari Hetto Refresher. So it's this head refresher. Refresher. If I like spray it onto my... Oh my god, it feels so cool. It's supposed to instantly cool my scalp down. It has like a refreshing 
scent to it. And one of my favorite sunscreens to use is the Skin Aqua Turn Up UV Essence. The consistency of these sunscreens are very, very watery and as the name suggests, turn up sunscreen. The product comes in different tints. This one is a green tint that helps um, color correct the redness of your face. I'm pretty sure it also comes in a pink or a purple tint. So if you have like a more yellow based skin, it will color correct and brighten up your skin really well. Next up, we have the Zibaki Repair Mask. This one is one of my favorite Japanese branded hair masks. I know a lot of people hype about the Fino hair mask as well as this Tsubaki hair mask together. Um, I've tried both, but I personally feel like I prefer this one because of the scent as well as the texture. The Fino hair mask, I feel like it's, it's good, but um, I don't think it does enough for my hair. So speaking of heat, <laughs> I already took this apart so you don't have the whole packaging. But this is the Biore Cooling Body Wipe. So this one turned out to be very, very convenient, especially in summer in Japan. Wherever you're going, this one just instantly cools your skin down by three degrees. You can feel the chill gradually creep up onto your skin and remain on your skin for like a few minutes. Okay, we have a lot to get through. So next up, I'll show you what I got in Universal Studio Japan. So first up, I got Tim. <laughs> so this is Tim Bear from um, Despicable Me. And he's made my dreams very, very sweet. Um, next thing I got is the, the Gryffindor bookcase. And also has like a badge outside and I bought this for my colleague who's, who's also a friend and who's also a major Harry Potter fan so I hope she likes this this one it's so cute so yeah I plan to give these to my other colleague yeah and yeah I thought these would be good for her because she has two children and I don't really want them to fight over a souvenir so yeah I'm very keen to give her this one lastly I got this Universal Studios Japan huge cookie cookie set so this comes in a lot of like different types of cookies and cakes and chocolates and candies inside. So I thought this will be a really nice souvenir to take back to the office for all my colleagues to share. Up to some people's favorite part of the video, the food collection. So first up, I got this grape gummy. It just feels like you're literally biting on a fresh grape because of the outer skin. And then inside, it's just really soft and chewy. I also got this matcha powder. It says high quality matcha powder. So I wanna trust that it's high quality. And because I make a lot of matcha at, in the office, um, I really wanted to invest in a good matcha powder and yeah, just share it with my colleague. Lucky colleagues. Um, next. I got the famous Kalbi granola in the original taste. It has a bunch of um, dried fruits and granolas inside. Very, very healthy. Tastes amazing by the way, but it's just like, it's pretty expensive in Australia. So I thought I'd just get a packet in Japan. Mm. I saw this in the Japanese um, grocery store, the Waiba. It's basically Japanese MSG. Jojo. So the final snack item I got are these Japanese crackers. So this one has, this one especially has a variety of different rice crackers inside. My favorite variety and rice crackers. Also during my stay in Japan, I've been walking around 20K every day. So, I ended up buying one of these. This one is basically like a recovering cooling patch for your legs. And I've just been sticking them on my calf, like even after I came back Australia, because I just could not recover my legs. 
it will really help with the recovery of your calves. Let me show you guys the accessories I purchased in Japan. So first up in the store called Garland of Dew, first up we have this very cool asymmetrical earring in silver. Second one is a necklace that I feel like will match that earring really well. So it's this silver necklace with like a pearl detail at the bottom. My first gold piece is also a necklace. It has a very cute gold bird design at the bottom. Like this. Mm, so cute. So the final piece is a set of gold earrings with diamond decorations dangling down. I thought it would be really cute to use it as my seconds or even like put it onto my helix. The next thing I got is these shoes from one of the malls and it's so cute. Next up, I went to one of the malls and got this one piece. And at the same store, this was the other skirt I bought in Japan and it just has really cool details, very nicely designed. The last day in Japan was actually my mom's birthday. So I ended up going to one of these modern Japanese um, designer area called Soso. It's just traditional Japanese inspired modern designed clothing, socks and shoes. And in the kimono shop, I bought this dress for my mom. I even tried it in the store as well. So I will like put a clip here to show you guys me wearing this dress. And it's just like a really nice Japanese sleeve and also color detailing. So yeah, the last thing I bought is this hat. It's probably my favorite clothing piece I bought in Japan. I just love this golden detailing of the store's logo. So that's all for today. It's a lot of products, so if you made it to the end, then Jojo thanks you as well. And I hope you enjoyed the video, especially with Jojo in the frame. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>